And one of the things that I most mourn in the uh, short version of the film was the loss of the performance of William Wadham, who played uh, Emma Thompson's um, deeply unpleasant son, uh, Bernard. And it starts with a scene that's in the movie with Emma talking to her daughter and then opens out to what was actually the bulk of the scene, um, which was her and, um, and bad Bernie. So this little chunk is Bernie's tale about a mum who finds her son really tricky, um, but then it uh, takes a turn. And uh, I can assure you that the voice of the Queen is not actually uh, the Queen. So what's this big news then? We've been given our parts in the Nativity play. <gasps> and I'm the lobster. The lobster? Yeah. In the Nativity play? Yeah, first lobster. There was more than one lobster present at the birth of Jesus. Duh. Excellent. What about you, Ben? I wanted to be a lobster, but I'm an angel. I hate angels. They're just made up rubbish. Oh, I don't know about that. It's just that these days they probably don't have wings. They probably just look normal, like you and me, but still cunningly wander around doing good. In our play, they don't do good at all. They just stand there looking like puffs, saying, isn't baby Jesus great when everyone knows he's just a stupid doll? I want to be a lobster. <laughs> By the way, Toby says Uncle David's a dickhead. And I hate kebabs. Right. Charming child. Perhaps we should just give him away. We got one very nice child, surely one's enough. Oh, God. Since when did my bottom stop being my bottom and turn into Britain's second largest seaport? Don't be rude. I've invested a lot of time and emotion in that bottom. What's this one called? Christmas Vagina, I believe. And this one? That's vagina two, uh, as in vagina number two, rather than vagina also, though, of course, it is also a vagina. Well, I think it's the best party venue ever. <sighs> I particularly like the portrait of the four tops. <laughs> I think I'm suffering from that one. <laughs> Listen, I've got to go and see the scary headmistress. Bernie's in trouble again. Oh, uh, what's he up to now? Drug trafficking? Do you want me to come? All right, I'll deal with it. Take my advice, Mia. Don't marry. You give up work, lose your looks, and pour all your life and love into children who turn out to be total bastards. At least certainly the boys do. I'll see you later. Good luck. Don't worry. Nice to meet you. And you. That brings back memories. <laughs> Bernard was asked to write an essay for religious education about his Christmas wish. Right. And apparently, charming subject but not for bernard mr trench mm, we've had some excellent essays many concentrated on a world of peace excellent there was one very touching one from a young boy with a very sick sister just wishing that she could for just one day christmas day be well again i do hope that happens i'd like you to read your son's contribution Well, I have to do it now. I'm sorry, Mrs. Williams, but I think Bernard must face up to what he's done. Here and now. OK. I've thought extremely hard about what I would wish for at Christmas. But after long consideration... You misspelled consideration. Sorry. Right. After long consideration, I've decided this is my Christmas wish. That is for one day you could see people's farts. Can you imagine anything more fun? You get to the end of a huge Christmas meal and your grandmother lets rip. <laughs> and at last, for once, she can't blame the dog. You go to church and for the first time ever, it's fun. <laughs> and then, finally, you get the moment we've waited for all our lives. And we must, of course, never forget the importance of tradition <laughs> and the importance of family. Right, right, I see. That is disappointing. I'm embarrassed and almost ashamed. Do you mind if I have a word with Bernard outside? <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. 
Sorry, Mum. I'm sorry too, Bernie. Sorry and ashamed and <laughs> embarrassed that I have put you in a school with such total and utter pricks that they don't get a good gag when they see one. I mean, look, this, this is high-class comedy. This, this is first-rate stuff. Look, you're my son, and obviously I have to love you. <laughs> right now, I really love you. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Arthur, fear. I genuinely think they could develop this, you know. I mean, if they sprayed some sort of invisible fart detecting gas into the air, it could happen. You think so? I'm absolutely sure of it. I think it's a thing. We did the moon, for goodness sake. We could surely work out a fart detecting.